And we're live, live from that place we did that thing that one time, as requested by Taser Taves. <laughs> and this is the first show, this is February 1st, this is the first show of the Raw from the Generator Tour, as requested by Ariona Esquire. Welcome, everybody. Um... I'm the Etc. Kid. If this is your first time watching the show, either live or on demand, this show is all about improvisation. Everything I do is made up on the spot from scratch. But I get a lot of help from chat. Chat gives me the sounds. Chat chooses the starting key, the speed. I turn your usernames to do drum loops and drum fills. You guys come up with titles, venues, tour names. So it was a very collaborative thing we got going. And it looks like uh, we have a bunch of folks already here. Let's see. I'll say hello to whoever I see in my list. Mr. Shigur is here. Lost Elf is here. Dom is here. Azazelin. Kara Diva. Bilzy Bub. Ninja Flea. Sniper Bob. Uh, did I say... Let's see. Did I say Dom? Yeah, I think I said Dom. And Dorf is here. <laughs> if I did not say your name, it is because uh, I do not see it yet on my chat program. But Welcome. Let's see. So we are at we are at that place we did that thing that one time. Man. Can't talk about it though. It's a secret. We got to be vague about it. Oh, and Ariona's here. Where's hats? <laughs> and not a undead. Hey everybody. Oh, and Chaco Mayo's here. Don Gio's here. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> okay, let's start getting start getting uh, into our first track. Let's see what we have for requests. Okay. There we go. Nice. So we have key of A flat minor, 91 beats a minute from Dorf. Oh, and A flat minor from Zazzlin, drum loops from Beelzy Bub and Dongio. We have the tribal kit from Ninja Fleas. We have a full set of drum fills, a full set of sounds. And that does not look good. What just happened? Hold on, guys. <laughs> what happened here? Uh, just wait a second. I thought I had fixed this already. Oh, there it goes. Oh, good. Good. I think it's working. Yes. Yes, we look good. Here we are. <laughs> Ariona Squire just writes, In other news, my one-year-old just called a sausage patty a meat cookie. That makes total sense. I think they should be called meat cookies. Let's see. Okay, we have the tribal kit. There it is. Nice. So we can initialize, import our track names, generate our drum fills, generate our drum loops. Why not? Why not? Let's include the possibility of a cowbell. Why not start off the show with some cowbell? Okay. They're probably equally unhealthy, right? <laughs> So 
Sniper Bob's band in college was named Meat Cookie. Oh, man. What are the odds? Uh, Chaco Mayo, you got a drum fill. You have a drum fill on this one. So watch out for the credit. It's it's going to be, the, it looks like it's the second drum fill. But if you requested a drum loop, there's a good chance you'll get it soon. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to look at these beats. Yeah, oh, man, tons of, tons of cowbell. Look what I got myself into. Okay, here's Billsy Beebs, or beat raw from the, <laughs> Billsy Bubs beat raw from the generator. <laughs> hey, we're going to add a kick there. Uh, this kick, we're going to drop a bunch in volume. Let's add one. That's one kick, oh, one snare there. This kick, I want to drop just a bit. These hi hats here and these. I think we want one hat there. That should be good. Here it is. Billsy Bub's beat. Oops, I forgot to bring everything back to zero. Yes. Thank you, Wears Hats. <laughs> Thank you again for your support. What am I doing here? Oh, yes. That should be good. Okay, here's Billsy Bub's beat. Cool. Thank you, Billsy Bub. Let's check out Dongio's beat. Oh, Dongio didn't get any, didn't get a uh, cowbell. But let's see what he got. That's cool too, though. Let's see. Drop these a bit, and these two kicks I want to drop just a bit. This snare drop a bit. Um. Let's drop that kick a bunch and do we want to add any hats here? Let's add a hat here. Let's give let's give Don Joe one cowbell. We'll give him give him a cowbell. Right there. Is that right? All right, is that what I want? I want one on B4 too. Okay, this is Dongio's beat. And actually, we're going to drop those cow. We don't need those cowbells super loud. Dongio's beat. Nice, that's grooving. We have our beats. Let's check out these sounds you guys give me. From Billsy Bub, we have sign bass. Mr. Shigura, we have vintage movie organ. I love how organs sound when they're played very staccato y. And then from Domdu, we have Dobro D Dombro chords. Dombro chords. <laughs> From 
Mr. Shigur, we have tiny plucks. From Ariona Squire, we have Sin Octave Lead. Lastly, from Sniper Bob, Antimatter Clouds. Okay, we have our sounds. Now let's choose which one will start us off. We could be... Now one of the drum loops or sign bass, a vintage movie organ, dombro chords, tiny plucks, syn octave lead, or antimatter clouds. Okay, those are your options. Let me get ready for what's coming up next. Not to bot. How you doing, camera three? You live over there? see camera three how you doing oh you're sort of there <laughs> okay give you guys one more let's see what you guys chose okay i'm ending voting i think i know what it's gonna be antimatter clouds <laughs> Hey, Muffin Puffet. I love I love my lurkers, so lurk away. I'm sorry you're not feeling well. I hope it hope it's getting better. But it's good to see ya. Ooh. Just got looks I see on I see to be or not about is let us know that uh Where's Hat has just given a another donation. Thank you so much. Thank you, Where's Hats. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh, thanks for the nice note, where's that? Okay, let's do this. First track of the day. A little support from Where's Hats. Here we go. Antimatter clouds it is.
Fun way to start the show, I think. 
with those antimatter clouds from Sniper Bob. <laughs> and we had those sweet drum loops from Bill Zebub and Don Gio. Tribal Kit from Ninja Fleas. That was a nice set of sounds. Yeah. Chill. Nice. Hey, it's John the Artist. Oh, and I also see SJ Cantories here, Jonas Kyle, Dark Zoon, Sour Frog. Oh, a bunch more people showed up. That's right, to be or not to bot. It is time to name our baby. Let's see what you guys came up with for titles. And I should add that we have, uh, I see that we only have six drum fills pending. So we, we need at least four more for the next track. Okay, let's see. Thanks, Ninja Fleas. <laughs> From Oliver Bab, we have Rainbow Peppercorn. From Chocolate Mayo, we got Coconut Milk. Coconut Milk. Muffet Puffet Brass Banter. <laughs> From Ariona Esquire, Year of the Rooster. And one more. From Dark Zoom, we have Glass Pineapple. Okay, those are your options. Rainbow Peppercorn, Coconut Milk, Brass Banter, Year of the Rooster, and Glass Pineapple. Okay, let's see. What did I do? I did some Trump. No, Baritone. I haven't played Baritone in a while, I don't think. And some Voice. Is that? Yeah, that was it. Hey, Disturbed Mono, welcome to the show. So what happens here, Disturbed Mono, and anyone else who is lurking or just stumbled in, uh, everything I do is improvised from scratch, and uh, but it grows out of requests that you guys can make in chat. So what you, if you came in on the music, uh, that was uh, all those sounds were chosen by chat, except for the voice and baritone. That was my request <laughs> in the moment. Uh, chat chose the speed of the track. They chose a the starting key. I turned a, a bunch of people's usernames into drum loops and drum fills. And right now we are titling the song from suggestions that chat gave. Um, so lots of ways to uh, actively influence what happens here. Okay, give you guys a little more time to vote. And it looks like I have a new follow from Oliver Bab. Thank you, Oliver Bab. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> hey, it's Cool Blue Reason. Let's see, give you guys one more moment while I do a couple other things, getting ready for the next track. Okay. Okay, I'm ending voting. Let's see you guys chose. Glass Pineapple from Dark Zoon. Nice. You know what is funny is I had pineapple last night for dessert. So I guess I was, I guess you could just sense that, Dark Zoon. You could just, I was just channeling pineapple. Thank you, Dark Zoon. Thanks everyone for your suggestions. Oh, and this is Dark Zoon's first, first title. Nice. Congratulations, Dark Zoon. <laughs> okay. Let's continue on to the next improv of the day. This will take just a second. Uh, 
Uh, Jonas Kyle is having pineapple juice right now. When you have fresh pineapple, it is an amazing thing. Amazing thing. Not so fresh pineapple, still good, but not amazing. I actually got one of those funky uh, pineapple screws. You know, you, you like you screw this this pipe into it, and it and it extracts. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Oh, and actually, this, well, no, I'll say, I'll talk about that later. Let's see. Just starting to get these requests in. That's weird. That is weird. Okay, let's see. Okay. We have a full set once again. You guys came through on the drum fills for me thank you <laughs> so we have key of e minor from the lost elf 76 beats a minute from sniper bob drum loops from jonas kyle and dark zune we have a full set of drum fills full set of sounds we'll look at those momentarily yes good good I, I think I may have finally addressed my record locking issue that I was having with my databases that was causing sometimes the sounds not to load properly. I think I fixed it. Famous last words, right? Okay. Hip hop slide kit requester from Fafel. Hey, Fafel. There it is. Oh, there is it. There's. I didn't know on this kit there's a there's a cowbell. Let's see. Okay, we already did cowbell on the last song though. <laughs> uh oh, you guys are gonna be angry with me about that. So we have our kit. Now that we have our kit, let's see. What are we doing? We're gonna initialize, generate our track names. There they are. Generate our drum fills. Generate our drum loops. Okay. Jonas Kyle. Here is Jonas Kyle raw from the generator. We'll check it out, then make a few adjustments to it. Here it is, raw from the generator. That kick drum is just gigantic. Is a gigantic kick drum. I hope a few of you are driving in your car right now and have massive subwoofers. Because uh, your neighbors would feel it. Here, let's listen. Here it is with my minor adjustments. I, I didn't add any notes. I'm digging it exactly how it is. I just did a little volume work on those hats. I don't even need to do that volume work. Well, I want that snare just a slightly quieter than the first snare. Okay, Dark Zunes beat. Raw from the generator. Here it is. Man, you know, I don't think I'm going to change this one much either. I'm just going to do a little with these hi-hats. I might add a hi-hat, but normally I would put a kick on one. 
and I almost always do. Uh, but this time I'm not going to, and that is that's why I didn't I didn't write the generator so that it always puts a kick on one because sometimes it doesn't happen often, but sometimes something happens like this beat where I just you don't need it. I am gonna put a hi hat pedal here and here though. And do I want to drop any of those snares? I I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it exactly how it is. I'm just adding those hi hat pedals. That is awesome so you almost never so that beat is reversed uh, you almost never hear um, snare on one and three and kick on two and four like this beat is so I have to be careful I might turn the beat around if I'm not paying attention but I don't know something about it. I, I feel that I feel beat one with that snare just cool very different uh, it's uh, this is the hip-hop sly kit Fafel requested it Okay, let's check these sounds out that are going to go with those slamming beats. See, I'm glad I didn't add the... Uh, um, I'm really glad I did not add the cowbell as an option of those beats because those beats wouldn't have happened if I had. Sweet how they were. Okay, Dark Bass Drive from Elite. Yamaha Grand Piano. Celesta from Hat Machine. Dirty Bells from Carrot Diva. Big Coimba from Where's Hats. I almost think you guys did a little uh, planning on this track because look look at all these bell type sounds tubular bells and cool reason <laughs> yeah it's gonna, be, it's gonna be interesting interesting combination of sounds okay let's see you guys are gonna choose what starts it off it could be it could be uh, one of these drum loops or dark bass drive Yamaha grand piano Celesta Dirty Bells Big Kalimba or Tubular Bells Okay. <laughs> oh, Effortless Mountain is here. Oh, and some votes. Looks like I see votes from Ralph 504. It's Relay Fauna. Welcome, guys. D. Carmike. So anyone who's just stumbled in, this show is all improvised, but based off of basic musical ingredients, you guys can choose in chat, and there's instructions below on how to get started, or you can just watch, and you'll figure it out pretty quickly what's going on. You guys, one more moment. Okay. Ending voting. Let's see you guys chose. Tubular Bells. <laughs> okay, we're starting with Tubular Bells. For our second improv of the day. So as I'm playing, as always, come up, give me some title suggestions. 
Uh, give me some venue suggestions for tomorrow. We had some great venues to vote on today. Do some bot talk. I added some new bot talk. I haven't really been able to test it yet, but in theory, next time we get hosted by somebody, um, to be or not spot, well, first uh, acknowledge that they've been hosted and then tell everyone to follow. So you can customize what to be or not spot says when those things happen. Uh, Itzroy says, did you make this generator yourself? Uh, yes, I did. I did. It's programmed in uh, Max for Live. Let's see. Hey, Brunswick Stew. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. Time to etc. Wish me luck. I'll see you guys on the other side. Here we go.
was a dark one. <laughs> Pretty dark. That featured some sweet drum loose from Jonas Kyle and Dark Zoon powering that sucker. I found myself in, uh, was I in friggin' mode most of it? So a uh, little music theory lesson for you guys. Mostly on this show, I, I, there's different kinds of minor scales. And I primarily use Dorian. Dorian is sort of the most common in, in jazz and, and uh, popular music. Every once in a while I use Aeolian. And then very rarely I'll use Phrygian, which has that cool sort of, uh, this is the sound. This is the sound of Phrygian. Compare that to uh, Dorian. And Aeolian. Anyway. <laughs> that was Phrygian. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Where's that says, dark you say I hadn't noticed. <laughs> oh, a bunch more folks are here. Your Maximus, I see. Chief is here. Emily Arts. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, I, I should play around more with Moe's. I, I just don't always think to do it. But I, just that combination of sounds, I just felt like it would it would be nice, nice sort of would work. Okay, let's see. So we got to name this one. And name this baby. I don't think I've done anything in Locrian mode. I've done every other mode. I don't, I don't know if I've done an improv in Locrian yet. Let's see. That would be pretty dark, too. We have very uh, schmooky. Pretty schmooky Locrian. Okay, let's see these titles. 50, 51 titles. Nice job, guys. Let's see. From Chosen 7, we have Bells of Battle Cry. <laughs> From Where's Hats? I'm having a hard time deciding between two of Where's Hats. It's between Moonlit Strolls through the Valley of Death and the Goblin King Welcomes You to the Labyrinth. I think I'm going with Moonlit Stroll. So Moonlit Stroll through the Valley of Death. It sounds so nice, the first part, right? Hey, baby, you want to go on a Moonlight Stroll? Postscript through the Valley of Death. <laughs> Let's see. From SJ Cantery, Counting Sand. <laughs> Let's see. We'll do two more. From Cool Blue Reason, Forge of the Bells. And last one. <laughs> From Sniper Bob, Running That Fire Sun Part 2. <laughs> okay, those are your options. Bells of Battle Cry, Moonlit Stroll Through the Valley of Death, Counting Sand, Forge of the Bells. And running that fire sun part two. Everyone's gonna wonder what happened to part one. 
So what did I do on that? I did some, just did some flute and voice. I think that was it. Yeah. You know, and while you guys are voting, oh, some more followers looks like. Violet Forest and Rat Skull 66. <laughs> Thank you for the follows, guys. Hey, no problem, George Decay. I know how it goes. No worries. It's good to see you when you can be here. Lost in the Beauty of Madness. Yeah, I didn't see that one, Your Maximus. Sorry, that was a good one. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I miss them sometimes. There's so many. Oh, Kiss the Goatee is here. So anyone who's just joining and trying to figure out what's going on, um, we just I just finished an improvisation and chat came up with titles while I was playing and we're voting on the title that we will name the track. Um, so everything I do is improvised, but you guys in chat choose the basic musical ingredients, like the sounds I use, the uh, speed of the song, the key of the song. I turn your usernames to drumless and drum fills. So it's pretty easy to get started. There's instructions below, or you can just watch and you'll figure it out real quick. Okay, I'm ending voting. Let's see you guys chose. Moonlit Stroll Through the Valley of Death. <laughs> that track we forever remembered. As Moonlit Stroll Through the Valley of Death. Okay, let us continue on. Uh, I love Exile. There should be a, a, at least a couple mods here, but they might have they might have snuck out for a second. But I see if you have a question, I, I'm I'm looking at my chat right now, so I might catch your question. Let's see. Okay, just getting ready for our next improv. Let's see. See you, Sniper Bob. Hey, Brave and Wolf. Hmm, I agree. I agree. I, I often feel the same way when I'm doing the show. Hmm, <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> What is the meaning of all this? Let's see. So we're starting to bring in our requests. We have, let's see. Uh, the the uh, the best way to uh, to mod is to become a regular and be an active participant for a long time and and have a great vibe on the show and really be helpful to folks. Um, and that's that's sort of the ticket. And I, I tend to add mods very slowly. So, let's see, okay. Bringing in these requests, we are gonna start looking at everything very quickly. I'm just getting our...
Okay. So we have full set of requests. We have Key of B from David Schmosh, 85 beats a minute from Maximin, Drum Loose from Wears Hats, and our new friend Disturbed Mono or Mono. We have full set of drum fills, full set of sounds. We will look at these momentarily. Uh, uh, Brave Wolf, uh, the way to request sounds is if you go to the link below. Oh, well, there, uh, Tabir Natsabat has is explaining. But if you go to that webpage, there's about a thousand different sounds. You can demo them, and, you, and there's little codes that you request. And you type the code into chat. So it, it uh, it's really easy once you figure it out. Okay, we have Deep House Kit from Sniper Bob. You still here, Sniper Bob, to hear your kit? That Dark Zoom, that is a way to do it. Pick your three favorite letters. Not every combination is represented yet, though. So, you, you, but you're welcome to do that. Okay, let's see. This is our kit. Okay, so now that we have our kit, we can bring in our drum fills. Although, I'm going to put those drum fills on a different kit, I think. And we're going to generate our drum loops. Okay, this is our first beat for this track. This comes from Where's Hats, raw from the generator. Let's check it out. We'll listen to it raw, then I'll make a few adjustments. Yeah, that's sweet. I don't think I need to do much at all with that. I'm just going to do a little variation on our hi-hats and all the same volume. And actually, I want to drop that hi hat a little bit. These two kicks, let's just drop a tiny bit. Okay, here it is. Where's hat speed? Cool. Thanks, where's hats? And then we have disturbed. Mono. Let's check it out. Here's Raw from the Generator. Cool. Okay, let's see. We'll do a little more on this one. Let's first vary our hats like I like to do, just a tiny bit. Let's add a kick on one. This kick, we're going to drop a bunch in volume. Uh, I think. These snares, I want to turn into more of a crescendo. A crescendo into that snare on three. And I want to kick. Uh, do I want? Yeah, let's, let's have a snare there. That should be good. It's definitely a different sort of beat with our kicks on one and two and then a snare on three and four. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to be jamming. I like it. Here we go. Here's Disturbed Mono's beat. Nice. Thank you, Disturbed Mono. So we have our beats. Now we're going to check out the sounds you guys requested. Hat Machine has requested toasted tubes.
from Ninja Fleas, we have Clean Electric Guitar. <laughs> From Jonas Kyle, we have Boys Chamber Ensemble. From Cara Diva, Tibetan Singing Bowls. And from Kiss a Goatee, it's Dulcimer Harp. And then from Elite, we have Gamer. Okay, so those are our sound options. You guys are going to choose which sound starts the improvisation. That is a very important decision because everything I do depends on that first thing I come up with, everything that follows. Okay, so it could be one of the drum loops or Toasted Tubes, Queen Electric Guitar, Boys Chamber Ensemble, Tibetans, uh, Tibetan Singing Bowls, Dulcimer Harp, or Gamer. It's out, Bob. Oh, and, and anyone who's new, uh, if I'm saying your username incorrectly, you can do exclamation point, say my name, and the way you'd like it said. Uh, so, for example, if your username is Fred77, you can tell me, just call yourself Fred. You cannot tell me to call you Bob because uh, chat would be confused. Uh, but uh, Disturbed, let me know if it's Disturbed Mono or Disturbed Mono. <laughs> I'm going to say Disturbed Mono because you've capitalized that N. But if you want me to say Disturbed Mono, let me know. Guys, a little more time. Make your decision. Let's see. I'm doing pretty well. Wow, well, thank you. And Disturb Mono says, whatever you like. So I'm going to say Disturb Mono then. And the reason for that is that I do this shout out at the end of the night. And I think I'm going to have a much easier time saying your name blazingly fast. Disturb Mono than Disturb Mono. So Disturb Mono is what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, thank you, Thank you, Chief. Although, Chief, you need to congratulate, uh, well, chat needs to congratulate itself because you guys are what make To Be or Not To Bot awesome because you guys expand what it can say. So I should, this is a good segue. Let me end voting first. Let's see you guys chose. Dulcimer Harp it is. Who requested that? Kiss a Goatee requested that. So you'll see that link that To Be or Not To Bot just pasted it in. Um, there's a command bot it's exclamation point bot and what you can do is you can use that to expand uh to be or not to bots vocabulary the easiest thing you should do if you've never done this before is do exclamation point bot space 
greet me, G-R-E-E-T-M-E, and then a message to yourself that to be or not to bot will say the first mess after the first message you write each day. And you can have multiple greet me's and to be or not to bot will use different ones. Uh, so that's the easiest thing. But there's like 19 different categories of things that you guys can help uh, expand what to be or not to bot says when those things happen. So, and I just added some new ones today, host thanks and host follow. So, but normal, I should always say normal chat rules apply. So these are checked by a moderator. So uh, normal chat rules apply. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, I'm going to do one little thing from this, I think. I just had an idea. So we're, I'm going to start this in just one moment. Dulcimer harp. Let me just do one little prep thing. Let's see. Yeah, we'll try that. I don't know how that's going to work, but we're going to try it. Yeah, so MindFog just gave a great example of options. So each time, uh, to be or not to bot, we'll use, choose one of those options. So hope you're having a groovy day one day. Another day might say, hope you're having a freezy day. Um, but you can also have diff completely different greet me message. So... Okay, I pressed that button a little too early. <laughs> you guys didn't see it. Okay, I'm ready to do this. It's time to accelerate. Give me some titles while I'm playing, venues, tour names, uh, bot talk, and I will see you guys on the other side of this track. Here we go. Another improv coming up. Oh, and make some requests for the next one. Especially if you're new, do an exclamation point drum loop and an exclamation point drum fill. Okay, here we go. Time to accelerate.
Looks like that was an extended one. <laughs> I lost I lost my hearing halfway through it. <laughs> oh man. Sweet beats and wears hats and disturbed mono. Awesome set of sounds. Nice. Yeah, that was fun. That was a fun one. Okay, we just gotta name that baby. Uh, thanks, thanks to everyone who made requests that helped shape that track. Hey, beautiful chaos. Hi, second, the second terminal. Welcome to the show. So anyone who's just joining, what you just heard was an improvisation, a long one. I really stretched it out. It was based on requests the chat made. Chat shows all the sounds. Chat shows the speed of the song, the starting key. I turned uh, Wears Hats and Disturbed Mono's usernames into drum loops that we used as the main beats. And a whole bunch of other folks were drum fills. And now we're going to decide on the title of it, which chat was doing while we were playing. So let's see. This is a lot. 50 again. Nice. <laughs> hey, where's janitor? Just look at these title options. Okay, let's see. Here we go. <laughs> From Outlaw Bob Parchment Memories. From Carrot Diva, we have a Pirate's Embrace. Sunrise from Germaximus. Knocking at the door from Fractured Encoding. And one more. From Cool Blue Reason, Electro Church Choir. Okay, those are your options. Parchment Memories, A Pirate's Embrace, Sunrise, Knocking at the Door, and Electro Church Choir. Oh, that's great, Beautiful Chaos. Congratulations. Beautiful Chaos has just gotten accepted into CSU Chico and Sacramento. Nice. That's great. Are, are, are those both... Are those, where is Chico? I know where Sacramento is. Where's Chico? What did I do on this? I did some trombone, I did some voice. That was it, yeah. Let's see. Two, 
two hours up from Sacramento okay <laughs> so we got some new follows from fauna DJ baby D mind fog 2287 mr. fireblaze in the second terminal thank you guys for your follows thanks for supporting live music on twitch Sorry, it's a knife. There, when there's 50 plus titles on a track, uh, it gets pretty competitive. And I often don't see every one. So blame it on my, my bad eyesight. <laughs> hey, it's Bluecrest. How you doing, Bluecrest? <laughs> okay let's see you guys chose knocking at the door from fractured encoding nice thank you fractured that will be Forever remembered as knocking at the door. Thank you to everyone for your title suggestions. <laughs> okay. Let's start prepping for our next improv of the day. Oh, yeah. Cool. Journey of a Clockwork Vaudeville. That was a sweet title. I remember that. Uh, hey, Feeder. I, I don't do uh, cover songs on this show. Everything I do is improvised. But you, Feeder Felix, um, can help shape what i do you can request the sounds that i use there's a there's a whole list below you on my website there's about a thousand sounds you can choose from you can choose how fast you can request the speed the starting key of the song i could immortalize you feeder felix as a drum loop i wrote a program that turns usernames into drum loops if you just type exclamation point drum loop and as a backup also run exclamation point drum fill because drum loops are very competitive since there's only two on a song so whereas drum fills is usually you'll be able to get in on a drum fill it looks like we are already already filled on drum moves for this track but you could still do a drum fill if you hurry I should note that we have, at the moment, we have no BPM requests between 90 and like 120. So it'd be cool to get at least one tonight so we can do something a little faster. Oh, and well, Feeder Felix just gave us 96. That's cool. We'll do 96 from Feeder Felix. Yeah, let's see. We don't have very many key requests either. We only have four key requests. So. Okay. So I think. Okay, we have our requests. We have. Key of D minor from Emily Arts, 96 beats a minute from Feeder Felix. Uh, we have drum moves from Mr. Fireblaze and Fauna. We have a full set of drum fills, including uh, our new friends Issa Knife and Mr. Do Hat and Cole Wise. I, I think those are maybe your first requests. I can't remember. 
and we will look at these sounds momentarily in the meantime let me get my mixer back to zero Okay, so from Ninja Fweez, we have the Hard Techno Remix Kit. There it is. That doesn't sound right, though. That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound like a, rem a techno kit. What happened here? Oh, let's just try that again. Let's try that again. Where's acid did sound? Are you come through? Uh, I don't know. It's not on this. Uh, at least on this set of sounds, it did not. I don't see your, your name up there. Maybe on the next set it will be there. It's Trang VP. Okay, now we have our kit. There it is, Hard Techno Remix. You know what? Beautiful Chaos is asking how the best camera is today. Let's see. Hey, Camera 3. How are you doing today? You good? Not if you're good. Okay. <laughs> or did you mean Camera 2? Can I get into Camera 2? Hey, Camera 2. <laughs> anyway. Let's see. Okay, we have our kit. That means we can initialize, we can generate our track names, generate our drum fills. And switch to a different for the drum fills. And you know what, guys? I'm in the mood to get a little experimental on this one, a little more than normal. <laughs> so... You know what? I want to include the possibility of uh, of these toms. So I'm going to give it a data probability of two. We will give this tom, low tom a probability of two as well, and this higher tom, mid tom, a probability of two as well. And we'll take our note map. Okay. So let's generate these beats. They'll be a little wacky, I think. Hope that's okay, Mr. Fireblaze and Fauna. Going going uh going wacky on this one, I think. Let's see. Okay, let's see what the generator came up with. Okay, so Mr. Fireblaze, this is your username raw from the generator. Uh and we'll listen to it once raw, and then I'll make a few adjustments to it. Here it is. Nice. We're going to add a kick right there. These hats we're going to vary just a bit in volume. Let's have a snare on four, and I think that'll be... Yeah, that'll be cool. That'll be cool. Here it is, Mr. Fireblaze. Cool. Thanks, Mr. Fireblaze. Let's check out uh, Fauna. Raw from the generator. Pretty just Fauna's just was uh, kicks and hi hats. Let's see. Here it is. <laughs> so.
So what are we gonna do here? We're gonna vary our hats like I like to do. Let's add a kick here. These and I think Yeah, let's do just let's keep it simple. Let's narrow it to a four. Here it is, Fana's beat. Let's put an open hat there. I take it back. I want my open hi hat right there. Nice. Wow, I'm digging both those beats. Sweet. Thank you, Mr. Fireblaze and Fauna. Now that we have our slamming beats, let's check out the sounds you guys gave me. Oh, there it is. Voice bass from Kisilton. <laughs> Dub from Maximin. <laughs> Exotic Pluck String from Kiss the Goatee. As well, Blue Dicks. <laughs> Fat Jupy Ambifall. <laughs> How about that for a name? Fat Jupy Ambifall for McDonk. Howdy, McDonk. So uh, that sound is one of our rhythmic sounds, so we can't start the improv with it because it's. I sometimes have to finesse those, but I will use it in the song. Don't worry. A spectacular entry from David Schmosh. <laughs> and Flanshaw from Dark Zune. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, nice. That's a cool set of sounds. So now we have our sounds. You guys are going to choose which of those sounds will start the improv. And that is a very critical decision. It really decides what happens for the whole song, that first decision. Okay, it could be one of our drum loops from Mr. Fireblazer Fauna or voice bass. Dub clav. Exotic Pluck String. Not not number four. Uh, that one, we can't do number four. But uh, Spectacular Entry. Or Flan Saw. Okay, give you guys a little longer. couple of new folks voting welcome guys welcome guys <laughs> give you guys a little longer Yeah, the first sound, it's like if you guys have ever seen improv comedy, it'd be a little bit like, uh, you know, you know, you, you say, okay, that the place is going to be uh, in a gymnasium or on the moon or in the forest. And each of these sounds is like a different place, right? 
And so if you're in a different place, if you start on the moon, you're going to do, you know, uh, lunar things. You start in the forest, you're going to do foresty things. You, know, you tend to, not always, but... Okay, I'm ending voting. What's you guys chose? I, I have a feeling it's going to be five. Oh, it's a tie between... Flan I was wrong. Between Flange Saw and Fauna's Drum Loop. So we're going to do a tiebreaker. Let's see what the Greeks decide. Asteria has chosen Fauna's Drum Loop. Nice. But don't worry, everyone. Your Mr. Fireblaze and all those sounds will be used. It's just we're going to start with Fauna's Drum Loop. Um, so as I'm playing, be thinking about titles for the improvisation so that it, it fully exists and we can remember it by its name afterwards. You can suggest venue names for tomorrow's venue, uh, tour names for March's, wow, February, yeah, March's tour. You can come up with bot talk and greet me's and all that stuff. <laughs> Uh, I just got a, a lovely donation from a beautiful chaos uh, and Muffet Puffet. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. It's always nice to see you guys. Thank you so much. Wow. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Let's do it. Time to accelerate. Fawn is drum loop. Again, thank you, beautiful chaos and Muffet Puffet. Thank you.
another another extended one. Another extended one. Not not so long though, I guess. It's what 12 minutes? Not too bad. How about those drum loops from Mr. Fireblaze and Fauna? And how about Spectacular Entry? That was that massive sound I used on both loops, but especially on the first loop it was just terrifyingly massive. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, thanks for your calps. Thanks, everybody. Let's see. Titles. Looks like almost was it 70 titles. Let's see what you guys came up with. From Colewise63, we got Brick Squad. <laughs> Let's see. Man, you guys did so many. From Cara Diva record, record Needle Salad. From Jay Furt, Rise of the Mechanist. Let's see, what else here? From Outlaw Bob, Sipping on Galactic Marmalade. From Worst Janitor, Kaleidoscope Vision. And... One last, oh, that's it. That's it. Those are your options. Brick Squad, Record Needle Salad, Rise of the Mechanist, Sipping on Galactic Marmalade, Kaleidoscope Vision. Uh, let's see. What did I do on that? I did some trumpet. I think that was it, right? Just trumpet. We have new files from Erwal and Super Penguin 140. Thanks for the follows, guys. Thanks for supporting live music. <laughs> let's see, let's see, where are we at? Meanwhile, while I give you guys a little more time, I'll start prepping for the next one. Okay, that is all I can do. Is there anything else I want to do?
Okay. Time to end voting. Let's see. Let's see you guys chose. Sipping on Galactic Marmalade. It is. That track we've forever remembered as Sipping on Galactic Marmalade. Courtesy Outlaw Bob. Outlaw Bob 5. Thank you to everyone for your suggestions. Okay. Let's see. Create a new empty track for us to fill. Oh, this is Outlaw Bob's first title. Nice. Congrats. Congrats, Bob. What have we done? Glass pineapple tonight. Moonlit stroll through the valley of death. Knocking to the door. Sipping on galactic marmalade. It's, it's been a little darker of a show, I think, than usual. A little darker. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where are we at? I just thought of something that I want to do. A minor thing that will be very easy. Very easy. Okay, let's get start getting these requests in. We're going to speed it up, it looks like. Speed it up a bit. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you, beautiful chaos. Thanks, Muffet Puffet. Uh, Mr. Dohat, it stays in queue. Uh, all your requests stay in queue. I have a feeling that you will be on the next one. Um, But this one, it looks like, uh, yeah, I, I think you should be on the next one, not the one after this one, because we have, this one is full. We have Key of G from Carrot Diva, 110 beats a minute from Feeder Felix, uh, Drum Loose from Anti Power and Is a Knife. So full set of fills. <laughs> I just noticed we have the studio brush kit, so we're going to be a faster track, but with this really mellow uh, drum kit. So that'll be an interesting combination. Let me see something.
What am I doing? Oh yes, studio brush kit. There it is. Okay, that is our kit. Now that we have our kit, we can initialize, import our track names. There they are. I see a ton of synths. A ton of pads. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be, uh, I think it's gonna be pretty mellow. That was unexpected. Okay, let's see. I think it'd be cool. We haven't, we don't do things like this too often with a lot of pads, but relatively fast. I mean, 110 I know is not that fast, but. Okay. <laughs> we have, this is anti-power raw from the generator. Oh, worst, worst generator asks, how did you get your name? Uh, you know, I, I, uh, it was a long, long time ago. I came up with the name a long time ago and I never used it. I did other projects with different names and, um, but when I was, uh, you know, preparing to do this show, it felt like, I don't know, it just felt right. The reason I like it, um, is I like the idea of etc. right? Etc. is, you know, you write etc. dot, dot, dot. Um, I like the idea of possibility. You know, I do improv here, so, uh, and I try to make sounds from a lot of different instruments, and I try to do new things. So I feel like etc. sort of keeps me from being limited. That's the idea. Uh, and kid, I think when I came up with the name, I was sort of inspired by, I don't know, westerns, you know? Like, uh, what is it, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid or something like that? Billy the Kid. The etc. kid. But I do like the idea of kid, of, of childlike, of the idea of um, the flexibility of mind that kids have when they, when they play music, uh, where there are no rules, they don't limit themselves. So I like that aspect of it too. So I don't know if it's the best, it's not, not really a story, but that, that's my quick explanation. There might be a whole other story that I've forgotten because I literally, I came up with the name The Etc. Kid like almost 25 years ago <laughs> when I was basically, when I was, when I was a kid. <laughs> okay, here it is, Anti-Power. <laughs> okay, cool. That's, that, that beat would sound so different on a different kit. It'd be so aggressive, so aggressive, so, so aggressive. <laughs> did I just, did I just quote, who, who did that song? Who, who did, was that a, I can't remember, some pop song, right? But it's not so aggressive, it's be aggressive or something. <laughs> That's as close as I get to covers on this show, right there. So aggressive, so, so aggressive. Let's see. What do I want to do? I want to add a hat here, a hat here, and that looks good. This is Anti Powers beat. Here it is. Cool. Thanks, Anti Power. And then we got it's a knife. Here it is, raw from the generator. Okay, let's see. We're going to do some variations on the hi-hats. And I should say, um, if it, it's very hard to get drum loops unless you come at the very beginning of the show, and then you're more likely to get them if you're a regular. Um, but if you're able to get a second drum loop or a third or fourth, uh, the generator does a different beat every time, but it is always based on your username. The odds of another username generating the same beat are almost are extremely minute i haven't calculated the odds but uh they are extremely unlikely to be repeated let's see what do i want to do here these two kicks i want to drop a bit and i actually want to kick here 
and this kick I want to drop a bit. Okay, here's it's a nice beat. Oh, it's a cheerleading. It's a cheerleading thing. Okay, I thought it was a pop song. I feel like it was. I feel like it's the kind of thing that would be on a um. Uh, what's her name? Gwen Stefani track. Th didn't didn't Gwen Stefani do that on a track? Something similar, I'm sure. Okay. Our sounds. Antarctic Sun from Whale World Peace. Hey, Whale World Peace. <laughs> We got felt bells from Kiss the Goatee. Uh oh, this I think this is gonna be. Oh, we got some intense pads. I thought they were mellow pads. I'm looking at these titles: Abraxas Attack from Trang. And then what is this from Where's Hats? We have Hellraiser. <laughs> this is uh, from McDonk. I do not recognize this sound title at all. Homage to the Roots. I don't think they mean the band The Roots. I think they mean um, the Roots of Electronic Music, probably like early analog synths. I, I think that's what they mean. <laughs> And then Jay Furt, we have another Abraxas, Abraxas intro. D did you guys coordinate that? We got Abraxas attack that goes up. And then Abraxas intro that goes down. Oh, and then goes back up. Okay, so... I have nothing, I have no sound that's really, I'm going to have to sort of plan ahead on this one because of the sounds I have. Usually I don't really plan ahead at all. I just do whatever I do on the first one, but I'm going to have to plan ahead, I think. Because I, I yeah, I don't have, I don't have any lead style sounds. I don't have any percussive stuff. So that will impact what I do with the first sound a little bit. Okay, we could use one of those drum loops or Antarctic Sun, Felt Bells, Abraxas Attack, Hellraiser, Homage to the Roots, Or a Braxis intro. Okay. The votes are coming in. The votes are coming in. Let's see. Uh, uh, Vern the uh, the sat satyr is that it satire? I don't want to say that. Um, you can vote as many times as you want, uh, but it'll only count your last vote.
Let's see. Okay. I think you guys had enough time. End voting. So you guys, Hellraiser it is. Hellraiser, okay. Hellraiser. Who requested that? Where's hats? Sater. Sater. Um, Mr. Do, Mr. Uh, Hudat, have I been saying do hat? Mr. Do hat, Mr. Hudat, I apologize. Mr. Hudat, I uh, asked if you can give us a look at the keyboard and try you record different loops, switch between sounds and stuff. Um, it's a little, I'm not set up to easily show it. What I'm going to be doing soon, if you, if you keep, you know, keep track of the show, um, I'm going to do a tech talk at some point. Uh, a show devoted to just question and answer where you guys can can ask about how I've set everything up. But I'll tell you a little bit really quickly. Um, I control most when I'm doing when I'm playing live, when I'm doing all the improvising and the looping, I control most of it uh, using this this keyboard here. Um, and those stickers are all my stickers. It doesn't come like that. Uh, I also have foot pedals that I use sometimes when I'm playing horns and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a little it's not the, it's not something I can explain in like ten seconds because I did a kind of ton of custom programming. I'm using a program called Ableton, which is designed to do looping. Um, but in order to do it the way I wanted to do it, I had to do. I, I don't use Ableton's way of looping at all, basically. I have all my looping is controlled through custom Max for Live plugins. Um, and it's triggered from this keyboard. So, and if you're familiar with Ableton, you'll know that Ableton has something called scenes. Uh, I don't use scenes. I use something called sections, which gives me a lot more flexibility uh, for improvising on the fly. Um, but again, that's it's a little hard to explain, but maybe on a tech doc we'll do it. Uh, Anti Power says, how much did all the gear cost? It's not easy to answer that because a lot of this stuff I already had. Um, but I mean, it's, I, yeah, it's, it's a fair amount of money. I always say, though, when people ask about spending money on gear, um, to make good music, you don't need to spend a lot of money. Um, you know, like, I think a lot of times we get caught up in, oh, if we only had this piece of gear, we'd be good or be able to do what we wanted to do. Um, but that's not the case. You know, you, you, you take a, if something like, I like to use example of like Jimi Hendrix or something. If Jimi Hendrix were still alive, if you gave him like a broken, an old, you know, Walmart guitar with four strings that's out of tune, he would still murder it. He would still murder it. So, um, if you want to get into looping, there's really easy ways to do it that don't cost a lot of money. You don't have to do something as crazy complex as what I did. Um, but okay, I should play some music. Oh, but there are a few questions. Uh, King Drow 205 says, Do you ever use push? Uh, I considered push, uh, I considered doing, um, I also looked at some other options, and I ultimately decided that uh, the way I wanted to work, uh, push would not have worked so well for me. But push works great for somebody else. Uh, but again, because I don't use scenes, I use something I call sections and section variations, which gives me a lot more flexibility uh, to trigger things that are complex without having to like, um, basically with looping, I'm trying to do it to make it as easy as possible for me since none of this is planned ahead. If it was planned ahead, it's so easy to set things up, but every, I have no idea what I'm going to do before the song starts. I don't know what I'm going to do as the song is going, what's going to happen next. So I had to set up my looping in a way that gave me a lot of flexibility. And to do that was a lot of, a lot of custom coding. And let's see, guitar emoji asks if I have programming background. Uh, um... I had done programming before I did this show, but all of the programming I've done in my life 
has always been because I needed it because I had something I wanted to do and the only way to do it was to um, to learn how to code and, and write it myself because it wasn't you know the things that didn't exist or were way too expensive that I couldn't afford um, so yeah let's see but I will I will uh, a lot of people are interested have asked me you know a lot of questions and I, I know I st I don't mean to be coy about it um, I know it's interesting even if just to see what kind of gear someone's using even if you're not planning to get it yourself so I, I will eventually have a gear list with my normal caveat that gear doesn't matter that much <laughs> um, and I will ascend, eventually do a tech talk where you guys can ask lots of questions and I'll get sort of more into the meat of how I do this show because it uh, yeah okay I'm being told it is time to accelerate. <laughs> uh, oh, and a donation from Trang. Thank you so much, Trang. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the continued support. That's amazing. Thank you, Trang. Okay, let's do it. I forgot where I was. Oh, yes, we're going to do an improvisation that's starting in the key of G at 110 beats a minute. We're starting with the Hellraiser sound. We've got the Studio Brush Kit from Well Blue Dicks, his Mellow Kit at a pretty fast speed. All these pads with some wacky pads. We'll see what happens. Here we go. Be thinking about titles. Be thinking about venues for tomorrow. Think about tour names for February, uh, March's set of tours. Come up with some bot talk. Create a greet me for yourself if you don't have one. And I'll see you guys after the track. Here we go. Actually, I had a technical problem, so I'm just going <laughs> to... Sorry, guys. I've got to fix this first. After all that buildup, something weird happened, and I'm not sure why. And I just need to... Oh, I know what happened. There we go. I need to go to ID number 91. There we go. Okay. Take two. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you, Tabir Natsabot. Best elbows on Twitch. There it is. Elbow cam. Okay. I'm ready to go. Here we go. I hope I remember everything.
That was, that was a little wacky. Thanks for those loose from Anti Power and Is a Knife. Those were sweet. I it was it was an interesting one to have our studio brush kit with all those pads, but at a faster speed. Wacky. <laughs> If you're just, if you stumbled in and are wondering what is going on here, uh, this show is all about improvs. What you heard was improvised using a whole bunch of requests from chat. Chat shows the sounds, the starting speed, well, the speed for the whole track, the starting key. We turned anti power and is a knife into drum loops, a whole bunch of other folks into drum fills. <laughs> Courage Orange says the glasses are out tonight. Uh, I, I'm not sure what you mean, uh, Vern. This, uh, what was it, Seder? Is that how it was said? Let's see. Let's look at the titles you guys came up with. Let's see. But from uh, Vern, from Vern to Satter, we've got, was it Seder? Is that what it was? The North Remembers. What else do we have here? <laughs> Ooh, from beautiful chaos. Uh, hard time deciding between. Uh, I, no, I think I like. I think that's the one I like the most. Vanity screams loudly. From beautiful chaos. Let's see. From the worst janitor, the sensation of feeling off balance. Ooh, from Whale World Peace, the gallows. From Guitar Emoji, the hell tolls for thee. Oh, Vern, you don't like, that's your least favorite? <laughs> and I'm already off the screen. Sorry, I, I, it's, I, I liked it, I liked it. Yeah, I'm already off the screen. Oh, no, I liked... Okay, well, since you didn't like that one, we'll switch it up. Uh, Spelunking on the Moon from Vern. Whoops. Okay. Those are your options. Spelunking on the moon, vanity screams loudly, the sensation of feeling off balance, the gowls and the hell tolls for thee. What did I do? I did the dig a do the slide did a do I did some melodica, I did some voice. I think that was it, right? I didn't do anything else. Oh, I did bull's horn for a second. Okay, let's see.
Got a new follow from One Slammed Bug VW. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Thank you for supporting live music on Twitch. guys a moment more hey it's a Quintus how do you Quintus okay I'm ending voting let's see you guys chose spelunking on the moon from Vern from Vern. Nice. I'll be forever remembered as Spunky on the Moon. Thank you to everyone for your suggestions. Okay, let us. Let us start prepping for the next one. Oh, look at this. I have a, it looks like a host from N. Hankins, 1980U. Thank you for the host. Thank you. In theory, to be or not to bot was supposed to send a message thanking you, but it seems like, I don't know what happened. I guess it didn't work. Oh, well. I thought I'd... That's strange. Oh, good night, where's hats? But thank you, N. Hankins. Thank you, uh, N. Hankins team. Welcome to the show. If you've never seen this before, it is uh, all improvised. Never know what's going to happen. But you guys, before each song, you guys choose the sound. You guys choose the uh, the starting key, the speed of the track. I turn usernames to drum loops and drum fills. Looks like is Mr. Houdat gone? I think Mr. I think we lost Mr. Houdat. I was gonna. I was expecting his drum loop. It looks like he's logged out of chat. If you're logged out of chat, uh, to be or not to bot does not fulfill your requests. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> oh, thanks, Ann Hankins. Okay, we're starting bringing requests. For this next improvisation, okay, let's see.
Okay, almost ready. Okay, we've got all our requests in for this next track. So, we've got a key of A flat minor from Cool Blue Reason, 90 beats a minute from Ninja Fleas, drum loops from Cole Wise 63, and from Vern the Seder. We have full set of fills, kit, and sounds. We will look at those momentarily once they load up. In the meantime, I will get my mixer back to zero. Hey, Taser Taves. Taser, we, we did your venue tonight. Taser, Taser came up with the venue. Let's see. Okay, we got Steely Beats from David Schmosh. Okay, we have our kit. So now that we have our kit, we can initialize, import our track names, generate our drum fills. And let me do something here. Whoops. Generate our drum loops. Okay, let's check these out. Guitar Moj, you're right, I did. I missed uh I missed three knobs. <laughs> uh let's see. Steely beats. Let's check out these. Here it is, Colewise 63. So this is a beat generated from Colewise's username. Uh, and we're going to listen to it raw from the generator, and then I'll make a few little adjustments. Let's check it out. Okay, I'm going to add a kick here. Uh, I'm going to add a snare there. And these hi-hats I'm going to adjust slightly in volume. And let's... Actually, I think I want this snare. Yeah, that looks cool. That'll be it. Here it is, Cole Wise's beat. Cool, we're honoring the silence of the 63. Okay, here's Vern the Seder. We're off from the generator. Nice. I'm going to add a kick there. Uh, these snares here we're going to lower in velocity a bit. Lower these high hats and let's just have a snare on four and that'll be it. Cool. Here it is. Here's Vern's beat. Okay, we have our beats from Colewise and Vern the Seder. Let us check out our sounds. From Hat Machine, we have Dirty Funk Bass. From Guitar Emoji, Nouveau 80s Bass. Three bass sounds, Dirty Wobble from Whale World Peace. For McDonk steel string acoustic. From 
Pack Newers, we have Violins 1. And lastly, from Where's Hats, we have Hard Distorted. Whoa. Okay. So we have the sounds. You guys are going to choose which sound starts the improv. Very important decision. So everything I do that follows is based on that first, first one. So we got two drum loops or funk bass, nouveau 80s bass, dirty wobble, steel string acoustic, Violins or hard distorted? And while you guys do that, I'm going to do -si do over here just to check something quick. Okay. The votes are coming in. Meanwhile, Okay, you guys had enough time. Ending voting, what's you chose? Violins. Start with violins, nice. This come from Hacknoors. Okay. Okay, as always, be thinking of titles. Give me some venue. I don't have a lot of venues yet for tomorrow. Uh, we just started the February tour, virtual tour. But you can come up with tour name suggestions for March. You can come up with some new bot talk. And I will catch you guys on the other side. Here we go. Here we go.
Okay. I extended that one. How about those drum loops from Colwise and Vern the Seder? Oh, sweet. That was a fun set of sounds. How about the violins from Hack Noors we started off with? I was really digging the steel string acoustic from McDonk. And we had all those bass sounds from Hat Machine, Guitar Emoji, and Whale World Peace, and the distorted sequence synths from Where's Hat. Man, nice. Thanks, guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks for your claps and your corps and your clops and your cloops. Okay, let's see. Titles. Well, it looks like we got at least 50. So what was cool is that I had um when I at the very end, towards the end, I added what's called a, um, a beat repeat um, that does exactly what it says. It's, it, it repeats parts of the beat. And then I started speeding up the tempo. I didn't know what was going to happen. But what was cool is it got, it was sort of like these almost like breakbeat stutter stuff that was happening, I guess, because, you know, the, they weren't lining up. The beats weren't lining up properly because the speed had increased. Uh, it was pretty cool. Unexpected. I had no idea what was going to happen. I like that. Okay, let's see. <laughs> From a Quintus, bright screen. <laughs> From Carrot Diva Braided Heart. Uh, so many. From Dom Diamonds That Don't Shine. From Colwise 63, we got Wind Through Grass. And one last one. From Scovalanche, World in Reverse. I'm sure I missed some good ones, but we have a Bright Screen, Braided Heart, Diamonds That Don't Shine, Wind Through the Grass, and World in Reverse. Uh, let's see. What did I do on that? I did some trombone, right? Did I do trombone? I did flute. I did some voice. Yeah, I think I did trombone. I did a little trombone. Hey, Amanda Lauren. Amanda Lauren, all the way from Australia. Let's see. Okay, let's see. All 
Let's see. Votes are coming in. Votes are coming in. Let's see. <laughs> okay, I'm ending I'm ending our voting. Let's see you guys shows. World in reverse from Scovalanche. Nice. You like that, Jiffy? So that track will be forever remembered as Skull as Skullplank, as World in Reverse. Thanks to everyone for your suggestions. Looks like we have a new follow from uh, Jason, X Jason Waterfalls X. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for supporting live music on Twitch. Okay, I think I'm going to do one more. It's been almost four hours. We'll make it to four and a half, I think. My other car is a dot matrix printer. <laughs> oh, you guys want to see Jiffy? <laughs> okay. Okay. You want to be seen? Yeah? This is uh this is Jiffy Starchild. How you doing? You have a good nap? Uh he's uh he's 13 years old. 13 years young. I adopted him a couple years ago. He's a super chill guy. Keeps keeps me company all the time. Somehow he puts up with the show. I think he must he must be sick of it by now. Are you sick of the show? <laughs> I always have a bunch of work I do after the show here at the studio, and uh, he gets so grumpy. Not grumpy, but he just gets really impatient. He's like, it's time to go home, kid. I want to go home. I want to go to bed. <laughs> and then he'll see me sit down at the keyboard over there and be like, no, what are you doing? Okay. Creating one last one last empty track for us to fill the night. Yeah, I know. If I had a if I had a jiffy cam, instead of me, no shots of me, just multi camera shots of Jiffy <laughs> cutting between three different angles of Jiffy this channel would be much more successful. <laughs> I should I should have another channel. I should create a channel just for Jiffy that is... Uh, it'd be, I'd put a, a story cam. So a story cam is when you have a camera that is attached to your body so whenever you move, the camera moves with you. So it's like it's as if it's following you around. Uh, what what does that like uh, the show Peep Show? I think they use that style. Um, is that what it is? No, that's not what I'm talking about. What is where does it? Anyway, I think that would be pretty fun. A story cam of Jiffy. I love. My most of the time, it would be, be a good channel to meditate, meditate to because most of the time he's just chilling. Uh, 
Uh, no, this is not my house. I, I, I have uh, roommates. I live in the Bay Area. Uh, where, for some of you, that might seem strange that I have roommates, but it's very normal here. Um, and I, I love having roommates. I've, I've lived with at least three other people or four other people almost my entire life. I'd get very lonely. But anyway, I have roommates, and they would not be happy, I think, if because up until this week, I was doing five shows a week for four months straight. So, yes, this is a studio I rent and is slowly bankrupting me, but <laughs> I had to have a space to get this thing started. Let's see. Let's see. Where are we going? Let's see. For requests... Let's see. So final track of the day. We're going to do something slow to end it, I think. Okay. Okay. We have... Our requests in. Let's see. Key of C flat from Dom, dude. Dom. 68 beats a minute from Cole Wise. 63. Drum loose from Fractured Encoding and Amanda Lauren. And a full set of drum fills and sounds. We'll look at those sounds momentarily. Whoops. Get these all back to zero. Okay. EXS 808 from Hack Noors. Okay, we have our kit. We can initialize, import our track names, generate our drum fills, generate our drum loops. Here we go. Fractured encoding is our first beat. Whoops. Where is it? There it is. Fractured encoding. Okay, let's see. What are we going to do? We're going to add a kick and a kick and a kick. All these snares, we're going to lower a bunch. These hats, we're going to lower a bunch. And actually, these snares here, we're going to bring back a bit. And do I want any other... Yeah. Okay, here's fraction encoding speed. Nice. And then we have Amanda Lauren raw from the generator. Cool. I'm going to add a snare there. This, these two snares we're going to drop a bit. Uh, these two kicks we're going to drop a bit in volume. We're going to... Add two kicks there. These kicks look good. We're going to just lower them a little bit. And then these hats we're going to just drop a bit. Okay. Here's Amanda Warren's beat. Nice. 
Okay. Thank you, Fractured and Amanda, for your beats. Let's check out the sounds. We have Vintage Attack from David Schmosh. Jamaica Fun from Whale World Peace. And then Distant Memories from Carrot Diva. Is that Distant Memories? It is. My, my program says it's a string sound, but it doesn't sound really like a string sound. Arco Strings from Hat Machine. And then Acoustic Harp from Vern the Satter, Satyr. And then lastly, Tibetan Singing Bowls from Effortless Mountain. Okay, so we got a full set of sounds. Let's choose which one we're going to end with. We could, whoops, forgot to uh, start voting. Start with one of the drum loops or Vintage Attack, Jamaica Fun. Distant Memories, Arco Strings, or Acoustic Harp, or Tibetan Singing Bowls. And I'm going to, whoops, do a, a little camera adjustments while you guys vote. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Let's see you guys chose. Tibetan singing bowls. Overwhelming. Overwhelming. Okay. Who requests that? Effortless Mounted. Okay, so this will be the last improv of the night. It's going to be mellow and slow, but I hope you guys will stick through till the very end. Uh, because afterwards we will give it a name. I will do my shout out, and then we'll 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 raid somebody. So stick around. Here we go.
Yeah. Nice, nice Mao end to the show. Loops from Fraction Encoding and Mandalorian powered atop the EXS 808 kit from Hack Newers. Really nice set of sounds to end. Yeah. Okay, created a new empty track for us to... What am I saying? I'm getting tired. <laughs> I'm clearly getting tired. Okay. Let's look at these titles. That's what I meant to say. Let's see. From Hack Newers, we have Star in a Jar. From Beelzy Bub, we have Twilight Serenade. From David Schmosh, we have Sailing to a Mysterious Island. From a Quintus Challenging Turtle. And one more, oh, so many. From Effortless Mountain, Memories of the Present. Okay. There are your options. Star in a Jar, Twilight Serenade, Sailing to a Mysterious Island, Challenging Turtle, and Memories of the Present. Meanwhile, I did not sing or do anything on that. Right? I was just keyboards. Oh, and all those cloops. Thank you for all your cloops. And your... Clops and calps and Folks are coming in. Uh, Taser asks if I'm a Seinfeld fan. Uh, yeah, I've I've enjoyed some Seinfeld. Yeah. I've also enjoyed some uh curb your enthusiasm. But not in a while. I don't know, it's weird in the last I feel like the last couple of years I've had less of uh less energy for real cringy stuff, you know. I don't think I'm enough of a if you guys are making references, I'm probably they're going over my head. <laughs> it's been so many years since I've seen Seinfeld. Did it start in 89? That's crazy. I thought it started in the 90s. I felt like it started in the 90s. Okay, give you guys a little more time. Did I did I pick any of the uh, the references? I actually watched uh, an episode of IT Crowd for the first time recently. 
Okay, any voting. See you guys, Joes. Star in a Jar from Hack Noors. Nice. So that last track will be forever remembered as Star in a Jar. Let's look back at our show. Okay. Tonight's show... I was live from that place. We did that thing now one time. And we featured, oh, we did seven, oh, seven tracks. Glass Pineapple, Moonlit Stroll Through the Valley of Death, Knocking at the Door, Sipping on Galactic Marmalade, Spelunking on the Moon, World in Reverse, and Star in a Jar. I did three long, super long tracks, didn't I? <laughs> oh, man. A whole bunch of requesters. Oh, what this looks like could be, could be a record. I don't know. Well, before we do the shout out, let me tell you guys, I'm gonna be back on Friday. I am not playing tomorrow. My schedule now is Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. I did the five day a week thing as long as I could, but uh, I decided I need time to do a bunch of other uh, work for the show. I've got all these ideas I haven't had time to to implement so I need some more time okay let's do our shout out let's see first let's see how many people are represented tonight whoops that's not the right screen it's is it wait is this a record oh man one this is tonight we tied for the most people represented on a song, a title, or a venue with 59. Oh man, we almost had a record. So that's that list right here. Uh, so all those people there had a something that made it into a song, chose one of the, uh, came up with one of the titles, it came up with the venue. Um, and what I like to do is at the end of the night, I always like to do a shout out to all those folks. Um, since these songs would not exist the way that they do were it not for your requests. So you guys are a key, key part of this. But I also want to thank all my lovely lurkers as well. And those of you who made a request but it didn't go through, I hope you will come back and make a request again. But this shout out is going to be for this crew. Uh, and if you guys have never seen, um, never seen me do this before, you'll notice I say some of the usernames differently than you see on screen or you see in chat, and that's because they've requested I refer to them differently. And my goal always is to uh, to do it in one breath. I know I'm not going to come close to that. Uh, I'm going to need one breath in the middle. I'm going to get as far as I can before I need to breathe. See, it would be sweet if I could get down to the... Uh, if I could get down to the O. If I could get down to Outlaw, Outlaw Bob, I think that, that would probably be the most I've ever done in one breath. Is that right? One, two. Maybe, maybe even if I get to Mr. Shigura would be a record. I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. But thank you to my superstars of the Etcetarati chat for your lovely requests, titles, venue names. Tonight, we featured you, the following Twitchers, Twitcherinos, Twitcheroticas, Twitcheronicas, Twitcheritas. I'm getting delirious, guys. Okay, here we go. A man of Laura Seven, an Ad Undead, Anti Power, Quintus, Ariano Squire, Zazzle, Beautiful Chaos, Bill Zabub, B Nick, Chief, Chocolate Mail, Cool Y63, Cool Reason, Don Gio, Dark Soon, David Schmosh, Disturbed Mono, Dom, Dorf, Elvis Mountain, Emily Yards, Fauna, Feeder, Felix, Fafel, Fraction Encoding, Frambox, George Decay, Jermaximus, Guitar Emoji, Hack Noors, Hat Machine, Is a Knife, Jay Furt, John the Artist, Jonas Cow, Carrot Diva, Kiss a Goatee, Casilt, Mana Play, Maximum, McDonk, McFireplays, Meduat. 
Ah. Oh. Mr. Houdat, Mr. Segura, Muffet Puppet, Ninja Fweez, Outlaw Bob, Five, Scovel Lance, Sniper Bob, Sour Frog, Taser, Lost Elf, The Worst Janitor, Trang VP, Vern the Satter, Wears Hats, Well Baludix, Whale World Peace, and Elite. I almost made it to Mr. Segura. Almost. That wasn't bad, though. <laughs> anyway, seriously, though, thank you, thank you to all you guys. Uh, I, I, I mean it when I say this show would not exist. Uh, these songs would not exist the way they do if it weren't for the decisions you guys make with your requests. The cool things that happen f with drum loops that would not exist were it not for your username. So thank you to all you guys. So in a moment, we're going to, I'm going to wave goodbye and we're going to do raid. But let me hold on for just a second while I, I find someone for us to raid. This should take me just, should take me just a second. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. This is someone we have not, I have not seen, we have not rated before. Cool. Okay. So, if you've never done a raid before, the way it works is after I wave goodbye, to be or not to bot is going to paste a link into chat, and you click on that link, and you'll go to this other streamer's channel. And in a moment, I'm also going to paste in. Well, to be or not to bot is going to paste in um, our raid call. You can copy that. Use your favorite emotes with it, um, and. When you go to the channel, give this uh, streamer a lot of love and support. Uh, it is, it's a scary thing to get started on here. Uh, send some great vibes, take our energy, and give it to this guy. Um, but that, that link will appear momentarily. In the meantime, thank you again to all of you for uh, chilling with me tonight. Uh, thanks for being so creative with your titles. Uh, giving me such an awesome selection of sounds to work with. Um, thanks for your drum loops and drum fills that powered each of these songs. Uh, I hope that whatever you are about to do is is phenomenal. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that softly. I hope that whatever you do is phenomenal. That comes after this extraordinary stupendous miraculous or if you just want something that's mundane and chill and relaxed and you don't need any of that then i hope you get that whatever it is that you need i hope it comes after this show i hope i will see you guys again soon if not friday then maybe monday wednesday or friday next week or the following week or in some distant future whenever it is it'll be good to see you guys all again um, be safe, be well, take care, have fun. I'll see you soon. I'm out.